to install iOS 13 on Windows without iTunes for iPod, iPhone or iPad. Here are some tips that you need to know before proceeding. Number one, use original iDevice cable. Do not use any fake ones. Use whatever came with the original device. Number two, do not skip backup. iOS 13 is highly unstable. In case something goes wrong, it's always safe to have a backup so that you can go back to your previous state and have a working phone. The tool that we are going to use offers a backup without iTunes. Number three, have sufficient storage on PC. The download files range between 5 to 7 GB or 8 GB. So for example, if your iDevice has 10 GB of data and the installation file is 5 GB, you need 10 plus 5, 15 GB of free space on your Windows. Additional 5 GB wouldn't hurt. The reason is you will have to download the installation file and the backup files will also be stored on your PC. So if you run out of space and the process is interrupted in the middle, the upgrade might be slow or it might fail altogether. The final tip, do not panic. If you have an iPhone XS or 10, the process might be fast. If you have a faster Windows machine, the process might be fast. But if you're running an older Windows machine and you're installing your iOS 13 or iPad OS on an iDevice that is like three or four or five years old, it's gonna take some time, probably around like 30, 40 or 50 minutes. But do not worry, this is one of the safest ways to do it. And you just need some patience and do not panic. Before we move on to installation, Connect your iDevice to your PC. Before we move on, go to 3u.com and download the 3u tool. Click on download, install on your PC. Now do not open the tool yet. Connect your iDevice to your Windows PC or laptop using the original cable and then launch the 3u tool. Once you have connected your iDevice to your PC, launch 3u tools. Once you launch 3u tools, you should see the device that you have connected around here go to flash and jb click on easy flash and click on 13 beta now if you already have downloaded the ipsw file which is available only to developers right now you can import and flash but for average users keep in mind that you have to have at least some free space in your pc like what i mentioned earlier now if you want to retain your data while flashing again if you have around 50% free space, using this option will transfer your iDevices contents to the PC, flash it and then transfer it from your PC back to your iDevice. So that's gonna take some time. Now, if you want to do a clean flash and not have any data, that's fine again. You, you need to just uncheck this option. Now click on flash. In between, you may get a prompt on your iDevice asking you to trust your computer just click on trust your computer and you should be all set once you click flash you will get a window asking you to backup i would recommend you to do a backup so click on backup once backup is done click on flash now wait for five to ten minutes for minimum if you have an old pc and an old phone and you have less free space and lots of data on iphone it is definitely going to take some time so you should probably be done between 15 minutes to 50 minutes. So have some patience. Once you're done, your iPhone or iDevice will reboot. It might flash a few times. The screen might go white. Do not panic at all. Once it is done, you'll get this message and your iPhone will reboot into iOS 13. Have fun. iOS 13 and iPadOS have a brand new dark mode and an you volume control, fantastic voice control without ever touching your device and a whole lot of other features. I've also done a review video and I have put the link below. Please do watch it as well. If you like this video, subscribe and like. If you have any questions, please, please leave it in the comments below. Thank you for watching. And please do subscribe to my channel for regular updates.